Okay, so pick up from the last video where we did the, the first part of the assembly and assembled the Y axis. So we're going to do the, the Z axis now. So, where are we for that? We need the adapters and brackets box. Let's pop that open. That's something nice to see actually. There's the number of times printers use different screws all over the shop. It seems that nearly everything on this is the same same screw thread except for the feet which are uh I think they were M4 by tens. Uh, everything else is M4 by eight, so it's just just makes life easier really. So I'll just put secure these on it. Okay, so a bit of a bummer, I ran out of SD card space part way through recording assembly of the uh, the Z-axis and the X-axis, it's a bit of a shame, um, but it, it is pretty straightforward. Uh, you basically put these two brackets here, uh, screw them to the base, but you don't screw them tightly, just literally just finger tight. Uh, then put this axis and the far axis, put those on. Uh, and route the cables, I don't know if you can see this down here, but the cable routes out the back of the bottom through this hole under the base. Same with this one. Uh, and then it's six screws on the back of here. Uh, again, I did them in one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, loose, not, not tight. Uh, same on this side. Uh, and then you're supposed to put this the X gantry, uh, the bits where it mounts, put them right to the bottom. But to be fair, there's quite a lot of motor resistance on there. So wherever you put it, to be honest, as long as the things are level, um, it's going to stay there when you're attaching it. And for these, it's slight. Not, it does show it in the instructions, but it's not that obvious. Uh, you use the use the inner holes for this gantry at this edge, and the outer ones. On this side, S same same on here. Use the outer ones, and then the inner ones. Uh, otherwise, you just find that the x-axis it won't it won't line up with one side. Uh, then once that's done, these these are torqued up straight away to. Well, I just do them tight and then quarter quarter of a turn after. Uh, and at that point, then you torque up the base the base screws, and then. These two screws, again, I torque them in a, a diagonal pattern like that and across at the end. Uh, and yeah, you end up 
with the Snapmaker A350 looking like this at this point. Oh, one other quick thing is you mount the uh, the touch panel display bracket on the front as well. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, it is <laughs> rigid as anything. The slight tiny bit of movement, but I'm putting a lot of force through that to move it. Um, it is really, really solid. That's not going anywhere. Um, yep. So, yeah, slightly shorter than planned this video. I was going to show me assembling it, but it's only it's only a few, a few screws on this one at the end of the day. Uh, so the next step is basically start to wiring all the connectors into the command module and do all the wiring and set everything up. So we'll do that next.